Greetings and welcome to chapel service for the Institute of Lutheran Theology. I'm Becky Hand, pastor of Life and Grace Lutheran in Odessa, Texas. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are thankful for this day and the gifts that you have bestowed upon us this day. We thank you for a time of thanksgiving, a time to remember all the blessings that you have so graciously given to us. We thank you for this time as we gather around your word wherever we are, and we pause for a moment to devote some time to you and to give you thanks and to listen to your word. We also lift up the Institute of Lutheran Theology. We pray for the faculty and the staff and all of the students and all of those students who will one day be students. We pray for your guidance in the lives of each one of these people and for the Institute as a whole. In these things we lift up to in the name of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Our reading today is from Psalm 85. Lord, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people. You pardoned all their sin. You withdrew all your wrath. You turned from your hot anger. Restore us again, O God of our salvation, and put away your indignation toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again so that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in their land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Here ends the reading. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Psalm 85 is the psalm that is appointed for this coming Sunday, the second Sunday of Advent. And it is a lamenting psalm, a psalm of sorrow and regret. The first three verses are simply remembering God's favor and forgiveness. Note the past tense in the verbs. You were favorable. You restored the fortunes. You forgave. You pardoned. You withdrew your wrath. You turned from your anger. The psalmist is remembering God's favor and forgiveness. No doubt a time of peace. The land was producing. The fortune was flowing. The sins were forgiven. The next three verses is simply asking for a return to that time, a return to the time of God's favor and peace, a return to the forgiveness and salvation and rejoicing. rejoicing. So we have remembering God's favor and we have an asking to be returned to God's favor. And then we get to a very important thing. It says, let me hear, or I will listen. I will position myself with ears toward the Lord. I will listen. In confidence, I will listen. In verse 8, it says, for he will speak peace to his people, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him. His glory may dwell in our land. The psalmist positions himself to hear what God will say. And he positions himself in confidence that God will answer favorably to his children. This is beautiful. You know, when a kid runs to their daddy for help, they're positive daddy's going to take care of it. 
when we run to our Father for help, Abba, our Daddy, will take care of it. Does it get any better than that? And then we come in this psalm to our last three verses. The promises of God are revealed as truth. In full expectation of God's word, the future is declared with force. He speaks of love, God's love, faithfulness, God's righteousness, God's peace. What is good will be given, the land will produce. Righteousness will be the pathway for God's steps. For God is coming soon. During this season of Advent, we are expectant. Expectant of our Lord's coming. We live in full expectation of celebrating the miraculous gift of the Incarnation. And we also live in the full expectation of celebrating the return of Christ in the clouds. When steadfast love and faithfulness will meet and righteousness and peace will kiss each other. When Christ comes into his full reign and sadness and tears are no more, all things are made new and when all sin is past tense and all goodness reigns forever and ever and ever. This lament of Psalm 85 is full of the promise of God, the blessing of God's forgiveness and joy Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Christ has come. He will come again, and everything will be renewed. He has already proclaimed his judgment on you, and he will restore you and revive you. He will speak peace to his people, to those who turn to him in their hearts. His salvation is at hand. Rejoice, for the Lord is good. As we wait and we ponder God's goodness in our current state of brokenness, we have the promise. We have the word. And on that strength our faith stands. On his righteousness we are dependent. And I invite you during this time of Advent to remember that eighth verse. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak. As we wait in expectation of Christ's return, let us hear what God the Lord will speak. Let us listen. For he will speak peace to his people. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, open our ears that we may listen. Help us to remember to take that quiet time to sit in your presence and simply to listen. Sometimes we think we have to do all of the talking, but in truth we need to be listening. Help us to listen to what you, our Lord, will speak. Let's pray together the prayer that you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. Go in peace. Listen to the Lord.